From his days as a young engineer at Abbey Road, to his seminal work with Pink Floyd on Dark Side of the Moon, to his own clutch of platinum albums with the Alan Parsons Project, Alan Parsons has been a man who cares passionately about sound. In theory, recording has become available to anyone with an idea and a laptop. But how to create a sound, capture a sound, mix a sound, how to make a recording that's interesting, catchy, balanced, commercial, whatever's your passion, that takes skill. Alan Parsons' Art and Science of Sound Recording looks at the complete process of recording right from the moment of creation. Modern music production is all about the sum of its parts. Take a beat, an idea, a sample, uh, uh, just a simple motif, and uh, create something out of it. The traditional way in Nashville has always been to start with a song, and um, the art of songwriting and song recording is still very much a part of Nashville culture. very few in the U.S. This is a fantastic microphone. I want to stay the same distance, right? A good way to, to know where you're at is use the popper stopper. Along the way, Alan talks to dozens of fellow producers, engineers, and artists. Tony Brown, Nico Bolas, Richard Dodd, and countless others. For instance, with George Strait, there's a guy named Dean Dillon. He, he sings kind of awful, but he's... He really, you can hear the song, how it should be sung, and played by listening to him. So he started getting people to sing his songs and George Strait said, no man, I want you to sing. The really good producers don't push it. Music happens when it happens. And you don't take a take just because you want it. You know, I really want to get a master today. So we're gonna just beat this into the ground. No, the really smart guys are the ones that say, let's go to dinner. For most of her records, uh, a Telefunken 251, and in particular, serial number 584, um, this microphone was built for Martina. There's no question about it. She sounds perfect on this microphone. I'm not allowed really too close to the gear because I have an electromagnetic field that I, my Gina can testify to this. Equipment breaks. <laughs> I mean, honestly, presently, I, I'm serious. It's, it's really strange. What it should all be about is, is like whoever's involved getting together and kind of looking squarely at <laughs> each other in the eye and going, what the f do we do? You know, and, and that's kind of like, you know, and that's, that's such a healthy way to approach making music. In a series of real life studio scenes, Alan records artists from all corners of the musical globe and provides hands-on step-by-step guides to every stage of the recording process. Alan looks at both the human side of recording and the equipment. Join Alan Parsons on this unique journey looking at the art and the science of sound recording.